you're going to accelerate to 88 before you pull the power out. 5,000 feet over Indianapolis, and the newest student pilots who could one day fly you cross country are learning the basics. Just as the national pilot shortage has led to massive flight cancellations this summer. Now, Republic Airways, which flies smaller regional flights for United, Delta, and American, says its pilot training is so good. With even more, its graduates should be treated the same as military pilots who can qualify for a commercial pilot's license with just 750 flight hours, half the hours required for non-military pilots. Republic CEO Brian Bedford is petitioning the FAA. You are arguing also that your training is just as good as the military's. Using more technology, more flight simulation, and we can do exactly the same thing. So working with the military, we can build a better model than what we have today. Republic's Lift Academy trains 200 students a year in both planes. All right, we're coming into five left at Indy. And simulators. Kaylee Price's dad was a UPS pilot. Now she's learning to fly. What does this career offer that kind of entices you? The, fr the freedom, honestly, is really is the most freeing feeling in the entire world being up in the air. After 12 months, graduates typically become instructors or charter pilots to rack up the required flight hours. But becoming a pilot isn't cheap, typically costing $100,000 to $200,000, a big reason for the pilot shortage. Republic offers deep discounts and jobs to students who finish and is reaching out to underserved communities for students. 67, that's it. As a flight attendant, Satrina Simmons dreamed of becoming a pilot. Now she's a first officer. Honestly, it's, it is the best decision I think I've ever made. Um, it, was, it was the right career decision for me. How good is Republic's Academy? Republic says its training is far more intense and far more specific to commercial airliners. And as a result, it says that training rivals military training. We're not training private pilots here. We're not training recreational pilots here. We're training mission-specific commercial airline pilots at Lyft. Congress increased new pilot flight hour requirements after the 2009 fatal crash of a Colgan air flight in Buffalo that killed 50 people. Today, the nation's biggest pilots union, airline CEOs, even the FAA, oppose Republic's petition to change the rules. Right now, we have these kinds of requirements based on safety judgments, uh, and I haven't seen any change in the safety rationale for that. Among those opposed, Captain Sully Sullenberger, the hero on the, of the Miracle on the Hudson. Uh, you may recall that incident and the families of those who were also involved in the Colgan crash in 2009. They accuse Republic of trying to weaken the safety rules here, and they say that Republic is putting profits over safety. Republic says not at all, that not all flight hours are the same, and its flight hours are far more intense and mission specific to becoming a commercial pilot. Guys, back to you. Yeah, Tom, I think a lot of people really would want a, a very experienced pilot when they get on the plane. So is there any movement on the idea of moving the retirement age a little, a, raising it a little bit? So right now, uh, it is still 65. Pilots must retire at 65, even though plenty of pilots have said, listen, I'm 64 and a half and I feel great. Yeah. I could keep flying. I shouldn't have to be forced out of the cockpit. That said, this is up to Congress. It's not something that the FAA can do on its own, but the FAA right now does not believe this is something that is likely to change anytime soon. All right, Tom Costello for us there. Tom, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.